Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be for this headband or ear warmer, whichever you call it. This is made from a variation of stitches. There is 14 rows. It is single crochet, half double crochet, and puff stitch variation. If you are interested in this tutorial, please stay tuned and we'll get right into the video. For my headband, I am using Bernat Premium and this is 4-ply medium weight yarn in the color Baby Lilac. I will also be using my 5mm crochet hook. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, to begin this project, I have made a chain long enough to fit snug around my head. So this is 70 chains and this is not going to be worked in a circle. It's going to be worked back and forth and then I'll join at the end of the project. So for row one, I am going to skip the first stitch from the hook and I'm going to make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And now one single crochet in each stitch all the way across for a total of 69 stitches. All right, so just go ahead and single crochet across and I will meet you at the end of this first row. For row two, start with a chain one, turn your work around, and it's gonna be one half double crochet in each stitch, back loop only, all the way across. So beginning with that first stitch, one half double crochet in just the back loop. So you are wrapping your yarn around your hook like so, entering the center of the stitch, but only picking up the back loop and one half double crochet. Okay, and that will be the repeat for row two, just one half double crochet in each back loop all the way across for a total of 69 stitches in this row. Okay, so go ahead and do that across one half double crochet back loop only, and I will meet you at the end of row two. All right, so at the end of round two, you're gonna chain one, turn your work around, and for row three, it's going to be single crochet back loop only. So enter the stitch from the middle, pull up your loop, hook the yarn, and pull through. So one single crochet in the back loop only of each, stitch all the way across for a total of 69 stitches. So our previous row was half double crochet. This row is single crochets, back loop only, because we want to get that ribbed effect. All right, so go ahead and complete row three, one single crochet back loop only in each stitch all the way across. And I will meet you at the beginning of row At four. the end of round three, we will chain one, turn the work around, and for row four, we are repeating row two. So it will be one half double crochet in each back loop. So one half double crochet in the back loop of each stitch all the way across, just like we did in row two. And at the end of this row, we should also have 69 stitches. All right, so go ahead and finish row four. Half double crochet back loop of each stitch, and I will meet you at the end of this round. All right, now for row five, here's where things get a little bit interesting. So I'll try to go very slow. You're going to start with a chain one and turn okay and we will not be working in the back loop we'll be going through the stitch so in that first stitch we're gonna put one single crochet like so and in that very same space we are going to put a puff stitch so wrap your yarn around your hook like so enter the stitch hook the yarn pull through pull up Wrap the yarn around the hook, go into the space again, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up, wrap the yarn around the hook, 
enter the stitch again, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up. Now you should have seven loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. So now you hook the yarn, pull through six of those loops, leaving one plus the one that you picked up and pulled through. So that's two loops on your hook. Now hook the yarn and do a single crochet. And I will show you that again. All right, so we will skip the next stitch, move over to the second one, and we're gonna put one single crochet, like so. Now we're gonna put our puff stitch again in that same space. So we'll wrap the yarn around the hook, go into the stitch, hook the yarn, pull through and pull up one. Wrap the yarn around the hook again, go back into the same stitch, hook the yarn, pull through and pull up. That's twice. Wrap the yarn around the hook, go into the stitch again a third time, hook the yarn, pull through and pull up. You should have seven loops on your hook. You're gonna hook the yarn, pull through six of those loops. Now you have two loops on your hook, hook the yarn and pull through the two loops. Now you will skip the next stitch, move over to the second and put one single crochet into that stitch. So this is what you should have at this point. Let me zoom in and show you that one more time. Okay, so I've already done my single crochet right there. Now I'm gonna put my puff stitch in that same, in that same space. So wrap the yarn around the hook like so, enter the stitch, hook the yarn, pull through and pull up. Wrap the yarn around the hook a second time, go into that space, hook the yarn, pull through and pull up. Wrap the yarn around the hook another time, go through that space for a third time, hook the yarn, pull through and pull up. You should have seven loops on your hook. You're gonna hook the yarn, pull through six loops, leaving one plus the one you're pulling through. Then hook the yarn and pull through two loops. Now skip the next stitch and one single crochet into that second stitch. And that's also where you will work your next puff in that same space with the single crochet. So let me just put my next puff. So you're entering the stitch, you're wrapping the yarn and entering the stitch three times, leaving seven with seven loops on your hook. You will wrap the yarn and pull through the, the first six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you pull through the first six loops, like so, which will leave you with two loops on your hook. Hook the yarn again and pull through the two loops. Then you'll skip the next stitch, move over to the second and put your single crochet, which will set you up for the next puff. All right, so go ahead and complete row five and then I will meet you at the end of this row. Coming up to the end of row five, I have two stitches remaining, so I will skip the first one and then in the very last stitch, I will put one single crochet to end this round. Now for row six, it will be another puff, another row of puff stitches. So I will chain one to start, turn the turn my work around, and if you notice the puffs are on this side. You can easily use your finger to position them where you want them. But anyways, moving forward for row six, in that very first stitch, you're gonna put one single crochet and your first puff stitch. So wrap your yarn around your hook, enter the stitch like so, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up. Wrap the yarn again, enter the stitch a second time, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up. Wrap the yarn again, enter the stitch a third time, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up. Hook the yarn, pull through six of the seven loops. Then hook the yarn and pull through the last two loops. Now, this stitch on top, we're gonna skip that and we're gonna put our single crochet between the two puff stitch of the previous row, like so. 
that is also where we will put our second puff stitch. So wrap the yarn, go into the stitch once, then again, then again. Hook the yarn, pull through six of the seven loops, leaving two, hook the yarn, pull through the last two. So we'll skip the next stitch on top of the next puff stitch, go into the single crochet that's between the two puff stitch and put a single crochet. And that's also the same stitch where we will work our next puff stitch. So that's one, two, and three times into that stitch. So the puff stitch is done the same way we did it in row five. So this row should be pretty easy for you. So always skip the stitch that is on top of the previous puff stitch and you'll put your single crochet and your puff stitch in the stitch that's between the two puff stitch of the previous row. So that's two, three, one, two, three, four. Nope, one more. Like so. And continue. Skip that one, one single crochet there, and a puff stitch. Enter the stitch once, wrap the yarn, enter the stitch a second time, wrap the yarn, enter the stitch a third time. Hook the yarn, pull through six loops, leaving two on the, on the hook. Hook the yarn, pull through two loops. Skip the next stitch on top of the puff, work your single crochet between the next two and also your puff stitch in that same space. All right, so go ahead and complete row six and I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, coming up to the end of row six. So I did my last puff and then in this very last stitch on the end, you're gonna put one single crochet to complete this row. All right, and now for row seven, chain one, turn your work around. And for this row, we are going to put one single crochet, back loop only, in each stitch all the way across for a total of 69 stitches. So in that very first stitch, back loop only, one single crochet. And if you turn your work towards you, then it's easier for you to see the loops you're working into. So just pick up each loop across putting one single crochet and that will be it for this row just one single crochet back loop across for a total of 69 stitches and then I will meet you at the end of this row and we will move okay, on. Okay now for row for row eight we will be repeating row seven so start with a chain one turn and work around and again we are going to put one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch all the way across. So just the same thing we did in the previous row. One single crochet in each back loop all the way across. All right, so go ahead and finish row eight and then I will meet you at the beginning of the next row. All right, now for row nine, we will be repeating row five. So we're going to be doing the puff stitches again. So start with a chain one, turn your work around. And in that very first stitch, we're going to put one single crochet and our first per puff stitch. So wrap the yarn around the hook, enter the stitch, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up, enter the, wrap the yarn, enter the stitch again, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up, wrap the yarn around the hook a third time, enter the stitch, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up, with seven loops on your hook, wrap the yarn, pull through six, then wrap the yarn and pull through the last two. Now skip the next stitch and one single crochet into the next and also work your puff stitch in that same space. So wrap the yarn, enter the stitch, pull through and pull up, wrap the yarn, go into the stitch, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up, wrap the yarn, go into the stitch, hook the yarn, pull through, pull up. Same thing as we were doing before. All right, and again, skip the next stitch and then work in the second stitch, one single crochet and a puff stitch. Okay, so go ahead and finish row nine, which would be 
uh, single crochet and a puff stitch, skip one, single crochet, puff stitch, skip one, all the way across. All right, so go ahead and complete this row and I will meet you at the beginning of row 10. And then we will move on from there. Coming up to the end of row nine, I have two stitches remaining. I'm gonna skip the last, well, skip the second one and then into the very last stitch, I will put one single crochet. Now for row 10, which is going to be the same as row six, it will be another puff stitch row. So into this very first space, I'm going to put one single crochet and my first puff stitch. So it's one, two, three. Okay, now skip the stitch that's on top of the puff stitch of the previous round and then the stitch between the two puff stitches where I'm going to work my one uh, single crochet and my next puff stitch. So just like row six. Okay, skip the next stitch, one single crochet and a puff stitch between the puff stitch of the previous row. So this is exactly the same thing we did in row six. All right, so go ahead and complete row 10 and then we will move on from there. Okay, at the end of row 10, I'm just going to do my last single crochet at the end right there, chain one and turn. For row 11, we are pretty much going to be working this side, but on this side. So we're working backwards. So for row, for row 11, it's going to be a half double crochet back loop stitch in each stitch all the way across. So one half double crochet in the back loop of each, of each stitch. So you go down the center of the stitch as before, hook the yarn, pull through and pull up. Back loop only, all the way across, half double crochet. And this is row 11. All right, so finish row 11 and I will meet you at the beginning of row 12. Now for row 12, start with a chain one, turn your work around and it will be single crochet back loop only across. So one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch all the way across. And each row still has 69 stitches across. Okay, so go ahead and finish row 12 and I will meet you at the end of this row, beginning of row 13. Just two more rows to go and we will be finished. Now for row 13, chain one, turn your work around and it's going to be back loop, half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So one half double crochet in each back loop across. All right, so go ahead and finish up row 13. One back loop, half double crochet in each stitch across for a total, a total of 69 stitches. And I will meet you at the beginning of row 14, which will be our last round. Okay, now for our final row, row 14. Gonna start with a chain one, turn your work around, and it's going to be one single crochet in each back loop stitch all the way across. So single crochet, back loop only, all the way across. And this is our final row. 
Okay, so go ahead and finish row 14 and then I will show you how to sew both sides together to complete this project. All right guys, so at the end of row 14, I am just going to chain one, pull up a long enough loop to sew my two sides together. And let me just grab my scissor and my yarn needle. I'll just cut off a long enough tail Okay, so before I do that, I want to make sure my puffs are on the same side. So I'm just going to use my finger and push them through. So they're both, both sides of the puff, the top and the bottom part, are both on the same side. I'll just do that across. Okay, so with the inside of my work so this will be the this will be the right side so with the right side in i'm going to fold in like so fold this into half like this fold this side also into half like so and put them into each other like this so i put one side of one side in the middle of each side <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so again, I have it like this, and I'm putting this side in the center of this side, and this side in the center of this side. So that part goes in the center there, this part goes into center here. If that makes sense. And now, I'll just hold that with my new, with my hook for, for now. And I'll attach my yarn through my needle. And I'm going to pretty much be weaving or sewing, I guess, all four sides together. So just like this. So I'm gonna make sure I go through all four sides. Like so. All four sides are attached together. You can tighten your thread to make sure it doesn't come undone, which I'll do off camera. But when you flip it out, this is what it looks like. Let me just hide that in here. All right, but this is what your finish headband or ear warmer will look like. That's the back and this is the front. All right, and that will be it for this project. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in another video. Bye.